Women of Reddit, what is something that men say or do that is very hurtful to you without them realizing it is? I just recently noticed how my boyfriend interrupts me whenever I'm talking after every 20-30 seconds. I thought this was due to his ADHD, but then I noticed he will literally listen to any of his male roommates talk endlessly without his constant interjection. The thing is, I don't think he does it purposely or maliciously. He apologizes and asks me to continue after his interruption, but I'm tired of repeating myself and losing my train of thought, or pretending to forget what I was talking about just so I don't have to go through the whole process again. My ex did this, and what bothered me more than that was the hypocrisy. If I ever interrupted him, even to add on to what he was saying, he would stop talking and look theatrically annoyed at me, as if I had disrespected him in some significant way. But if he stopped me in the middle of a thought, he never acknowledged or even noticed it. Drove me insane. I get cut off a lot. So I've pretty much stopped talking to everybody. What's the point of wasting my breath right? My ex used to do that constantly so I decided to just continue my sentence with escalating loudness until he backed off. It's so annoying. In an entirely different context. I've ended up doing this a number of times on the phone at work. People will call my organization with questions, and there have been a couple men who have called me with questions and then keep interrupting while I'm answering. While I'm stuck doing the polite work voicing in that situation, there have been a few times when a phone call dragged on so damned long due to some guy not letting me speak to answer the question that he called me to ask that I've just raised my voice and kept talking when they try to butt in. It's the only damned thing that works. You're so cute when you get angry. I had people tell me that a few times, including lovers and family members. Always men. For some reason. I am a very tiny woman that looks 10 years younger than my actual age and this always gets to me. I only very rarely get really angry, and when I do it's because something feels deeply, fundamentally wrong. I'm not cute, I'm angry. I'm devastated and you're not listening, nor taking my feelings, nor the unacceptable situation nor logic in account. Whenever someone tells me that, I could cry for the injustice of it all. None of those who said it understood why I hated it. Now I usually fake to be unaffected and reply something like okay, we'll talk later when your brain works again and leave. But I can never really forgive them for it. Your reply is, I'm cute all the time you dumbass. When men feel like they have to test women when they mention that they have interests that are typically considered masculine. I'm a huge, American, football fan and have been playing for almost a decade now, but sometimes when I tell men about it, they're all like, oh really? Name all of the, insert team name here, s previous coaches or something like that. When I started studying IT, on the first day my class had an introduction round where we told a little about ourselves. When it was my turn I mentioned that I like to play video games in my free time. A guy immediately asked me what I play. I said all kinds really, but that I had just gotten a Wii and had been mostly playing Mario Kart and some other games on it lately. This made him chuckle and cast a glance towards the other guys in the class in an almost theatrical fashion while leaning back in his chair and crossing his arms clearly very pleased with himself. I wasn't prepared to list my entire gaming history to defend my right to be a real gamer girl tm, so I guess I failed his test with my casual answer. I just felt confused by his reaction. Female gamer here as well, I can relate. I also play all sorts of games. I've been a gamer for more than 20 years and I've also worked in the gaming industry. But some men are still not taking me seriously. I run a YouTube channel and people requested a game collection video. So I showed them a part of my collection and gave my opinion on the games. Very specific stuff, so it should have been obvious that I've played the games. But nope. People still called me a fake gamer and stuff like that, because women don't play video games and don't have collections like that. It feels so absurd, doesn't it? LOL. I recently had a chat with a guy from my gaming community who told me he once knew a girl who was a guild master in a sim game, like he was telling me about seeing a unicorn or something. I told him there was nothing unusual about that and I had also been a GM in several games before. He insisted it was rare and odd, because girls don't take games so seriously, 
they just play for the lols. I don't think I've still managed to convince him otherwise. Isn't that how you're supposed to play? To have fun? Are you on your period? When I'm angry and then not listen to a word I'm saying. My mum used to do this to me when I was younger. It hurt so much more coming from her. My mum still does it in comparable things. I even partially get it. Teenagers on their periods are surely horrible, but it just completely devalues your feelings and it was never the case. While not the same, I'm on antidepressants and every time I get angry at something it's have you been taking your meds. It's why I didn't want to tell anybody in my family about my depression. Because every time I get angry at them it has to do with that, not them being complete cunts. Many of my male friends or acquaintances, and even my dad, like to talk to my husband about how his job is going, but rarely ask me about mine. I make nearly the same paycheck and have a fairly interesting job that I've worked hard to get, but I think they think I'd rather talk about my social life, family, or hobbies before anything else. It's sad to not be questioned about something I spend all day doing. Another parent in our group used a dressmaking analogy to explain something to me about fixing boat trailers. I asked him why he did that, and he said he wanted to use something I could relate to. I said, you've known me for about two years, you do know I have an engineering degree, right? No, he didn't know that, because he'd never bothered to find out anything beyond mom. Luckily, he took it good naturedly and his wife gave me a high five. My husband and I go to social and charity events from time to time and we have a standing $5 bet that no one will ask me what I do. I've only lost one time, and it was another woman who asked me. For the record, we both have long standing careers in the same industry and make about the same. I've started to avoid asking people what they do for a living. It's awkward most of the time, leads to relatively boring conversations and half the time is a mental sizing up of the other person. I prefer to ask people what they do for fun. I think that's awesome. And yeah, it's sometimes boring, sometimes not. But I think the point here is that men get asked what they do, and women don't. I like your solution. I have a similar story to this that still bothers me. I was a registered vet tech in cardiac specialty years ago. My boyfriend at the time, went to school for EMT, but kept failing the boards. We were all talking about dogs, and my dad asked him a medical question about dogs. He gave a stupid freaking answer that was incorrect and was accepted. I didn't even bother I just walked away I was so angry. So I'm studying something that could be classified as very feminine. And my boyfriend is studying something that would be classified as male dominated and sometimes when we're arguing about how we need to clean and we just don't have the time he says that what he's doing is much more difficult than what I'm doing. That's really hurtful. All these people arguing about whether or not his course is actually more difficult than yours are missing the point. My partner would never say something deliberately hurtful to me like that, in the heat of the moment or not. Rather he makes a point to constantly tell me how proud he is of me for working so hard and studying so well. If everything else is going well for you and you think he regrets saying something to hurt you as soon as he says it, that's something you can work with. Maybe discuss getting a weekly cleaner if most of it is stress related. If not, I'd re-evaluate your relationship. I haven't been able to work for a while, because I'm waiting on my green card. My husband is in law school and before COVID he was in school 8-3 every day, and then he would be studying at home until around 7pm, sometimes later. I do most of the housework, naturally given that I have way more free time than him. I volunteered 5 days a week, but not all day. But he also contributes, tidies up, washes dishes, helps with our dog, grocery shops for us etc. We have mutual respect for each other, and even though I'm obviously not doing any work as difficult as law school, it's not my job to mother him, clean up after him, tend to his every need. If your boyf is using differences in your studies as collateral in arguments, using it to create a hierarchy in your relationship, and using his supposedly more difficult subject to shirk away from his responsibilities in the house, then he needs to grow up. My dad once told me you'll make a man very happy one day, because I'm thrifty and don't spend a lot of money. I told him it won't matter if I'm thrifty or not, because I'll be making my own money. 
being thrifty is a good tray for either gender. It takes a lot to get me angry, but any time a guy tries to push me into doing something it rubs me the wrong way. It could be something super innocent, but if I say no and he keeps trying to pressure me into doing it, it shows that he has no respect for me or what I want, and only cares about getting what he wants. Unfortunately a lot of guys do it, it's like a game to them to see how far they can get. I have had dudes try to talk me into relationships or dates or whatever. Like, really? You want to hang out with someone who ostensibly does not want to hang out with you? I'm not going to change my mind, no matter what the shitty Hollywood romcoms you've been watching tell you. It's infuriating, because now my boundaries are being crossed, and you obviously don't value my thoughts on the matter, like I don't know my own mind, heart and desires. As if your needs supersede my own. Just, don't. I've met a lot of guys who still don't get that you should smile more is an absolute ass hat thing to say. It makes women feel like we're mere decorations in men's leaves, and don't comprehend that it's not our job to make men's days more pleasant. I work with an older guy, 62, who has a bad habit of doing this. The first couple times he said it I just said no. The third time I said, don't tell me what to do with my face. The fourth time, I sat him down and explained why I, and likely most of the other women he's been saying it to for 6 decades hate being told to smile. The fifth time I heard him say it, he said it to one of our co-workers who was walking past him, and I sternly said, don't, tell women, to smile. He kind of laughed and said sorry I forgot. The kicker? We work in a funeral home. Not a lot of workplaces where it is more inappropriate to say that kind of shit to people. The second time he said it to me, we were standing in a hospital morgue waiting for security to bring a body out. What the frick Greg, 